to another episode of Wayne's World of Science and Technology. Um, this is my fuzzy research assistant, Cleopatra. Cleopatra is part of one of the joys of this life, that of, well, being a human with their own personal wolf pack. And yes, uh, Cleopatra is a wolf. Uh, slightly evolved, and yeah, there's been a bit of selective breeding in there, but she is definitely a wolf underneath, and she is so sweet. Oh yeah, such a lovely doggy. Anyway, the reason we're looking at Cleopatra, or what we were before her head got out of the picture, <laughs> is because there's an interesting study recently done with kangaroos, and it may have some implications for how we ended up with such wonderful fuzzy research assistants. And, um, well, what happened was they did a test at a zoo in uh, Australia with kangaroos where they put food in containers while th with the kangaroos watching, then gave the kangaroos the containers. Kangaroos were able to, were unable to open the containers, but they were able to turn around and ask the humans for help to open the containers. Why is this interesting? Well, we really don't know how we ended up with these fuzzy research assistants, and you know, really, dogs out of all the animals that uh, we live with, interact, you know, the domesticated animals, are special. There is something different about these. And I'm wondering, I mean, like, it's for years it's been thought that maybe what happened was, you know, somebody found a litter of wolf cubs and adopted them because they were cute or something like that, like that thing in Game of Thrones. But maybe what it came down to was that really, um, and as I said, dogs are special in that they tend to be more partners than pets. So I'm wondering if maybe the dogs, you know, the wolves, asked us for help, and that's how we ended up with our fuzzy research assistants. I have no idea for certain. I do know that I absolutely love Cleopatra, even when she insists on getting outside of the frame when I'm trying to get her picture taken. Oh yes, you're so wonderful, Cleopatra. And, um, well, you know, I know how intelligent these wonderful creatures are. I've been living with dogs for years. I have to admit that, um, you know, I've also got to live with cats. Hello, Soot, who's sitting over there on the bed ignoring us because he's a cat. Um, cats aren't the same. Cats don't interact with humans in the same way that dogs do. Um... Rats make good pets, but they don't interact with humans the same way. Uh, none of the domesticated farm animals, whether we're talking cows, sheep, goats, interact with humans the same way. As a matter of fact, out of any of the animals, the only one that I could see who would get an advantage from asking for help would be wolves. Now. Uh, you could say that the kangaroos that were used weren't 100% wild because they were zoo animals and they were used to humans. But it's also quite possible that a wolf pack that was following a um, tribe of humans got used to humans. I mean, they may have left enough extra stuff behind in the way of kills that the wolves got extra food. And so it's possible that at some point some wolves decided they needed help and asked for it. And well, hello Cleopatra. Anyway, just food for thought. Have a nice day. Happy New Year to you. I hope you had a great Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. And I will see you next time.